money comes and money goes money comes and money goes money comes and money goes and you don't have any clue about it how many of you can resonate with this story and that's exactly is happening with so many people across globe they don't have any clue that what has happened in last 15 and 20 years they have been keep making money because money became a game to make but they forgot the next rule that's called saving money growing money multiplying money investing money and protecting money and we don't have any clue what we have done first point i am going to tell you how you can manage and everything can manifest in your life through the behavioral pattern change about money first thing is my money my responsibility nobody nobody on planet earth is responsible for your money money is like baby if you have a produced money you need to manage it nobody can manage if i am not giving the direction to my money money will go anywhere it's like kid if you don't give the direction to your kid it will go anywhere and that's what is happening with us and we have never been taught how to give the direction to the money we keep saying that money comes but money goes but we have never given the direction i am going to make an a statement profoundly my personal finance is my personal responsibility my personal finance is my personal responsibility it is none of others person's business and that's what responsibility we have not taken the law of responsibility always says the more you be responsible for some of the resources more things you will be given and that's what always happens in our life we haven't taken any responsibility of money we never we never thought that what is need and what is want i'll tell you what is need something which we cannot avoid it has to happen groceries vegetable electronics items mobiles gadgets water supply all those things are for need without that one we human being can't live second thing is right now called want which we can avoid it which when we can postpone it maybe that you want to have a dinner in your home it will cost you 100 rupees but if you want to go for a five star property it will cost you 5000 rupees what you are deciding right now that's a want but cooking food in your home is called need if you do not manage all need and want you will always have hole in your pocket and rather than fixing the hole in the pocket people keep pouring more money into their pocket do you think your money will stay in your pocket no and that's what my money my responsibility is the first fact which i want to tell you second thing money happens in your conversations and there are two types of conversations happens in life first one is internal conversations and second thing is right now external conversations and what is internal conversations i am not able to save money i don't have enough money i cannot make more money money comes and money goes i have so many emis i am not comfortable to make more money money is the root of all evil these kind of thoughts keep creating in our head and it becomes the law in the universe and the more we keep thinking and inside of our head more things are right now going to manifest inside through what through day and night day and night we keep thinking about it we keep thinking about it internal conversation what happened in last 15 20 years around money and we created an a story around that money and right now we became an actor and actress in that in that story i'll give an example something happened 20 years back i have given to some money to somebody and he hasn't given money back and i create an a story around that one that people will not pay me money then second time again i have given money to somebody else and he hasn't back, given money to me to back me to me and again i created a story around that money people are right now not will be they will not be giving me money and i created a story around that money that all people to whom i am going to give money they are not going to give me money and this story becomes a part of my life we start living that story and it becomes manifestation in our life so any time i give money to somebody my back of the mind says that if i give money people will not pay me money and it becomes tathastu in my life so be it that's a conversation internal what is going to happen second thing is right external communication what we speak money doesn't grows on trees it's a difficult to make money money by working hard it comes money 
Money doesn't stay to me. We keep speaking to the outer world and we behave according to that one. The more behavior pattern we have around money, our subconscious start reflecting on the outer, self, outer side of world. We go and bargain to the people who are selling the vegetables. 100 rupees vegetable you bought and you keep, say, keep saying, can you give me some lemon? Can you see me? Can you give me some condom for free? Why to negotiate? And that becomes a life conversations externally in my life. We always go by cab and we, go, we negotiate the price and it becomes a behavioral pattern in our life. That's the second point is called money happens in conversations. Third point is, third point is right, more value, more money. The more, mo the more value you create in the marketplace, more money is going to come in your life. You are doctor, lawyer, professor, engineer, CA, cricketer, footballer, author, anybody on planet earth, you will make money. Question is right now, wow, how much money? And only money you are going to make when you go deeper down into that one. And you will realize that more skill you have, more scalability of that skill you have, more money you are going to make. If I am talking to 20 people, I will make money according to the value I am creating. When I talk to 2,000 people, 20,000 people, 2, 20, 2 million people, more value I will create, more money I will make. And that's our second, that's our next step, how you can become rich and financially free in next couple of years. That's the next point. Money is a behavioral phenomena. It's not a technical phenomena. I'll give you an equation for that. Income is equal to saving plus spending. But how many of you realize that this, equa this equation doesn't work in life? Money, income is equal to saving plus spending. But this equation doesn't work in life. Why? Because it is a technical formula. But when you behave around money, this formula doesn't exist. When you got raised in your salary, maybe 10%, 15%, 20%, what first thing you do? You go to the bank and check your salary slip that how much loan credibility you have. What you are thinking? Universe has given you just now a raise and you have started thinking how to, be, how to take more loan. And then what will happen? You will keep accumulating more loans, more EMIs on, on your pocket. And then you will worry, my salary increased, but my saving is not increasing because what you did? Because your salary increased in terms of percentage and you increased your lifestyle in absolute terms and that is why people fail. Let's consider if you got 15% raise, can you divide that 15% into the EMIs as well, saving as well, investment as well, protection as well, spending as well, lifestyle as well. And that is how, how do you behave? Have you said any time to thank you money? Because money is a resource. It's like air, it's like water, it's like sky, it's like earth, it's like human behavior. When you said thank you to money, we haven't thought about that. I'll tell you, anybody who is giving money to you, anytime any money is providing the service to you, are you saying thank you so much for giving me that service? And when money comes to you, you enjoy that money, your family will flourish. And you provide some product and services to the people, his family is going to improve and this is what creates a global karma. That's called karmic karma in terms of having money, spending money, acknowledging money, appreciating money and being grateful for that money. Have you done that logic in life? Because money comes, money goes, it's very easy to say. But have you acknowledged the name? When money came, I am saying thank you so much money for coming into my life. And that's behavior change happens in our life. The moment behavior changes, everything is start going to happen in our life. That's the next point. Next point is right now. Money is a tool. It's like knife. If you are using it for a betterment of that knife, it will work in your favor. You can cut the vegetables, you can cut the fingers as well. Money is not good or bad. Money magnifies who you are in your life. If I am a good person, when money comes in my life, I become, I, I use that wisely, prudently, and I magnify that one. And when I am a bad person, I become bad. Because money doesn't play any role except what is inside you will come outside on the planet Earth. And that's why people keep worrying, why it is happening with me? Money is a tool to be managed, to be conserved, to be protected, to be saved. Have we, have we done that one? No. I'll tell you three to four concepts right now. 
First one, start saving at least 10% of your income. First rule, Babylonian philosophy of investing. Why Babylonians were the richest community on planet Earth? Only because of the small, small items they did in their life. Start saving at least 10% of your income. Whatever income you have right now, 10,000, start saving 1,000. 1 lakh, start saving 10,000. You have 1 crore rupees, start saving 10 lakh rupees. It's okay. If you can't, start with the small. Because money is a behavioral phenomena. It's not a technical phenomena. And your subconscious mind start thinking, I can save 1 rupee, 2 rupee, 5 rupees, 10 rupees. And you keep saying, I can save money. I have money. I can grow money. I can protect money. And God will say, Tathastu. And that's how it happens. Money happens in your being. Who you are. Who you are, how do you behave when you have money? How do you behave when you don't have money? Money is a behavioral phenomena rather a technical phenomena. Next thing, you need to pay the taxes to the government. Keep paying the taxes, but manage it. How you are going to manage your taxes? Everybody on this planet Earth will get older one day. I, either me or you, all of us are going to get older one day. We don't, at the age of 60, 70, and our physical body will not allow us to work, but money will always be our friend. We need money. Are we protecting that money for the later stage of our life? All of us will have a kids, groceries, all those things has to be managed. Are we investing amount of money so that our future goals can get accomplished? And next one, we will have EMIs. Are we managing the EMI? Are we loving our debt or we are just hating the debt? So many people, I want to come out of the debt, I want to come out of the debt, who went into the you posted the signature, you have given the beautiful photograph of yours, you have given everything. But right now you say that I hate, by saying, by saying those statements, you are saying that I am not acknowledging the efforts which I have put previously. And these are the couple of tools which will keep happening in your life. If you manage the money well, money is going to be the ultimate resource in your life. That's what my thought I wanted to share. Couple of things apart from that, money is a behavioral phenomena and your money needs a direction. If you don't direct your money, it will go anywhere. Apart from that, you are wealthier than you think, but problem is that I don't think. And if you write down in pen and paper, I am telling you, each of you will be thinking that you are wealthier than you think. Last closing remark, your decisions in your life will change the destiny of your dynasty. I repeat, your decisions in your life will change the destiny of your dynasty. Thank you so much.